I was at the bodega on the corner and it was early, you know, breakfast time. So I was wearing sweatpants and my glasses and a t-shirt with a kitten on the front saying meow. And I made a beeline for the cooler because I need my morning OJ and I reach for the last carton of no pulp Tropicana expecting to feel the cool cardboard on my fingers but instead I felt his hand. So a bunch of my co-workers and I went to this bar in Midtown after work and I had on four inch heels and this guy walks up to me and he says how tall are you without those and I said that's for me to know and for you to find out and he said I would love to. So I was at this house party of a friend of a friend of mine, and I was sitting in the window, minding my own business, drinking salted water and lime, and this guy comes over, and he's like, I noticed you from across the room, and had to come over and say hello. He said, if you let me, I'd like to take you out tomorrow night. I know this great little Cuban place. And then this guy, who was also reaching for the Tropicana, was like, it's all yours. I have no intention of getting between a beautiful woman and her morning OJ. And then he said, I live in the neighborhood. I've seen you across the street. Maybe we can hang out sometime. And I said, hold up. I said, excuse me? Because when was the last time a guy made a move and had a plan? Right? Never. He said, I swear I'm for real. I like to get to know you. And he said, I know I'm coming on a little strong, but can you blame me? I mean, look at you. Just look at you. And then he handed me his business card and his driver's license, just in case, he said. And for the first time that night, at 9 o'clock in the morning, next to the freezers at Sam's Grocery and Deli, right there in the bar, I allowed myself a laugh. I fell out laughing. <laughs> Shit. I laughed so hard. I cried. <laughs> and then I said yes. <laughs> I said yes. I said yes. Yes to hanging out. Yes to Cuban food. I said yes to starting something new.